up at six and it, I did. It's 6.30 right now, but I am really tired and I do not want to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. Good morning, you guys. So it is about an hour later from when I woke up. Um, I was just so tired. <laughs> But that's usually what I do is I'll set my alarm clock about an hour earlier from when I want to get up and then I'll get my day started. Um, I don't put on any snooze buttons because I'm usually like by the time my alarm clock goes off, I'm awake. It'll just be like tiny naps in between, but it's stuff that I can easily wake myself out of. I don't know if anybody can relate to what I'm saying, but and now I'm out here walking my dog. I like taking him for a fairly like decent walk. It's not a super long one, probably like 15 20 minutes and right now he's just running around in this little area that's always dead i got changed i'm in my workout outfit so once i get back i'll drop him off and then go to our gym at our apartment and yeah and basically today i'm kind of just showing you guys my ideal routine that i've been trying to implement to you know change my life and all that so this is going to be like a full day routine not even routine because um this is not what it's gonna look like during the school year, which takes up majority of my time. Um, basically, I'm showing you my morning routine that I like, I've like. i liked doing so far that will have to be tweaked once school starts because I can't take this long to get ready. And then I'll be showing you the steps I've been taking to change. We're gonna get started this video. I'm about to go work out and then we'll come back and plan our to-do list. Okay, you guys, I finally made it to the gym. And let me just tell you, I don't wanna do this. I'm so tired. I don't wanna work out. I am bleeding out of my vagina. <laughs> I'm on my period. Um, so I just really don't wanna do this and I'm having a hard time motivating myself right now. I just got here, but I feel bloated and gross and all I want to do is go lay down, but I'm gonna try and not. To, I'm gonna try and not do that because honestly, I'm already dressed. I feel like it might be more effort to go get out of my clothes, and I'm just thinking about the nice shower I'll be taking after I'm done with this. But I just really don't want to run. I want to run the mile. <laughs> it's so hard, but it's fun. I've got this. I think we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, as you guys can see, I'm literally dying in this clip, so I had to take the audio out. But I wanted to let you guys know what was going on in this clip. So I had just gotten done with my mile, which I got it done in the fastest time yet, 9 minutes and 54 seconds. I started off at 11 minutes and 30 seconds, got down to 10 minutes and 30 seconds after a couple of days. And I think this is about the seventh day, and I got it down to 9 minutes 54 seconds, I said earlier. And the things that I changed was that I tried incorporating yoga techniques, like I was focusing on my breathing and focusing on what was going on with my body instead of the panic of, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, when is this gonna end? And I was just really proud of myself, the fact that I started off not wanting to do it at all and then getting it done in my fastest time yet. So no matter where you start, you guys got this. Okay, you guys, here's my to-do list. So the first couple things is just tidying up, like cleaning my bathroom. 
And then uh, I'm starting a challenge where I'm going to go vegan for a week. It's going to end up turning into a month, but I want to get a video out, so I have to go grocery shopping for that. And then uh, I have to send my pen pal, like respond to my pen pal. And then I scheduled in making plans with friends. I'm really bad at doing that sometimes, so that's on my to-do list. you guys oh it's kind of better down here um sorry about the lighting it's six but we have a storm going on outside but i got back around five it took a little bit longer because we went thrifting um i showed you guys the food that i got and now i'm about to sit down and look at some anatomy stuff um I need to study for it this summer. I was only gonna give a month anyway, so it started this July. But I need to study for it because my GPA is pretty low for my engineering major. Um, I just got B's and C's basically the entire year and a half that I was there. And then I have uh, W's on my transcript from dropping out. So I have to get them up. Um, last semester when I transferred and do, did nursing, I got all A's. Um, but this semester, I guess, is supposed to be more difficult. Uh, sorry. I'm going to be taking anatomy and physiology. And um, I need to get an A in it, which I know is pretty difficult. So I decided that I was going to start studying this summer so that I have a chance of getting an A. Um, and we'll see how it goes. After studying for an hour, I went and played Uno with my family for a bit, and then I laid down and played on my phone, which was meant to be a nice break, but your girl was tired, and passed out around 9, so I wasn't able to get everything done, but I felt pretty productive, and this is what I would like my days to look like consistently, instead of sleeping all day. If you want to follow me on my journey of changing, please subscribe. Also, let's be friends and follow each other on Instagram, maybe we can do this together.